I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. From within its program, Word lets you somewhat manage files, as I describe in another Word Tip video. You can copy, move, delete, and even rename files in the Open or Save As dialog box windows. But one thing you cannot do, which is true inside or outside of Word, is to rename the currently open document. You see, when you attempt to rename a file that's in use, Windows hurls forth an error message, just like Zeus. This file is open. It's busy. It doesn't have time for such nonsense. The solution is to close the busy document open in Word, and then click the Try Again button. But it's best just to cancel and complete the operation later. Unless... Here's something I just discovered, something that warmed my heart to Microsoft's OneDrive and the benefits of saving your documents there. This document, open in Word, is saved to OneDrive. Now, I know this is a fact because I saved the file there myself, but you also have some hints. First is the autosave banner on the Quick Access Toolbar. It's on, active. This option can be set only when saving a document to OneDrive. Second, I can check the document's title bar. Yep. It's saved to OneDrive. If not, you would see a flag here to save the file to OneDrive. Let me switch to the other document. I'll click the title bar here, and you see the prompt urging me to save to OneDrive. Yep, this document is not saved to OneDrive, so the renaming trick won't work. Back in the original document, renaming is now possible. Click the title bar and type the new name into the box, or you can edit the existing name. I don't care. You don't need to save and quit because Word automatically saves the document, updating it with the new name on OneDrive instantly. The document is renamed. While it's possible to rename a document from within Word, but if you try to rename this open document in a folder window, as I'm attempting here, you see the same warning. That's the fine print. The trick is useful, but only in Word and only for the current document. Still, it's something nifty, something I discovered by accident, and I hope it's a trick you can use. For more tricks, secrets, and shortcuts, obtain a copy of my Word books.